Hello, continuing from the last uh, video, uh, we are graphing uh, parabolas by graphing critical points. So, as you saw uh, in the last two videos, uh, we will continue in the same process. So, if you remember it rightly, uh, to graph a parabola, you need the x-intercept, y-intercept, and the vertex. Okay. Okay. Now, this is a form. This is a, a quadratic form, and from this quadratic form, you can directly write the y-intercept, for which you have to set x is equal to 0, okay? So when you set x is equal to 0, you can see this becomes 0, because 0 times 0 is 0, and this is also, this also becomes 0, okay? Because 4 times x, sorry, 4 times 0 is 0. So you will end up with y is equal to negative 5. So the y-intercept is 0, negative 5, negative 5, okay? So that's pretty easy. Okay, now to get the x-intercept, you have to factorize it. So I, I think you should be pretty um, confident in factorizing. So uh, the two factors of negative 5 are the two numbers which when you multiply, you get negative 5, and which when you add, you get 4. So the numbers are plus 5 and negative 1. So 5 times negative 1 is negative 5, and 5 plus negative 1 gives you 4. Or if you think in a different way, if you expand this, you should get this back. Okay, so this and this are equivalent. So now to get the y, sorry, x-intercept, you have to set y is equal to 0. Okay, so it's very easy to remember to get the y-intercept set x is equal to 0 and to, and to get the x-intercept set y is equal to 0. So again, the same process, you have to think when would this become 0 because this is a number and this is also a number. x plus 5 is a number and x minus 1 is also a number. So two numbers are multiplied and you get a 0. That means this is a 0 or this is a 0. So if this is a 0, you can say x would x should be negative 5. Okay? And if this is 0, x minus 1 is 0, then x has to be plus 1. Okay? So you can check minus 5 plus 5 is 0 and 1 minus 1 is 0. So the x-intercepts are negative 5 zero okay and the y intercept sorry the second x intercept is one comma zero I have to close the bracket here okay so these are the two points and the next is to get the vertex now vertex form is the form where you write in a perfect square so to let me uh, erase this now okay so this this form and this form are the same. So what I've done is you have to look at x squared plus 4x and make it a perfect square. So what you do is half of 4 is 2 and 2 squared is 4. So this becomes a perfect square of x plus 2 squared. Now you have added, added 4 and then taken away 4 and you already have a negative 5. So negative 4, negative 5 gives you negative 9 and this is a vertex. Now, if you have seen my previous videos, if this is a vertex, the basic parabola, that is y is equal to x squared, has moved, this plus means it has moved 2 to the left. Okay, so I'll show the arrow like this. So the basic parabola has moved 2 to the left, and it has gone 9 down. Okay, so the vertex in this case would be negative 2 negative 9. Okay? So, let us uh, graph this. Okay, so let me scroll this up. Sorry, scroll this up. Okay, so... Okay, so let, let us graph the points. So, which are the points? Okay, what do we know? We know the vertex is negative 2, negative 9. So that is this point. Okay. 
your x intercepts are negative phi this is your negative phi and 1 and your y intercept is 0 negative phi that is this point okay and you can draw the line of symmetry it's always good to draw the line of symmetry so as I explained in the last video uh, let me highlight this so if this point is 2 away this can also be the point we'll confirm that that point what is the name what is that point negative 4 negative 5 okay so let us okay so we'll confirm that later on okay so I'll drag this and put it here here we go this is the best that I can do okay uh, slightly more this okay so this is not the perfect parabola I have tried to yeah this point believe me is negative 4 negative 4 negative 5 I'll show that negative 4 negative 5 is on this parabola okay though it doesn't look like exactly okay so I'll repeat the x intercepts are negative 5 and 1 the y intercept is negative 5 the vertex is negative 2 negative 9 and negative 4 negative 5 is also a point on this parabola because this uh, the line of symmetry acts like a mirror line and these two are image of each other so let us check this on a calculator and always go to your graphic calculator so I would recommend that you have your graphic calculator with you so let us uh, type in the equation the equation was x squared plus 4x minus 5 so let us take all the points okay so graph it okay so let me make this bigger scale standard scale of 10 negative 10 to 10 and now graph it okay so first we'll start with our x intercept which is negative 5 and 1 okay negative 1 then the y intercept is negative 5 okay the vertex is minimum here so negative 2 negative 9 and i told you negative 4 negative 5 would be a point so again g solve and uh, y calc when x is negative 4 okay here we go when x is negative 4 y is negative 5. i hope this these three videos have been uh, helpful see you in the next video thank you very much